Turning next now to the question looming over the investigation into that commuter train accident. Was the engineer zoned out or even awake as the train hurtled 82 miles per hour toward a dangerous curve? ABC's Gio Benitez on the news we learned tonight. Sources tell ABC News the operator in Sunday's deadly train derailment, William Rockefeller, told first responders he was dozing off just before the crash. Tonight, investigators are interviewing him. There's every indication that he would have had time to, to get full restorative sleep. Investigators who combed the wreckage say they found no problems with the train signals along the route or the brakes. Based on these data, there's no indication that the brake systems were not functioning properly. Sources tell ABC News human error was likely the cause of the crash that killed four and injured more than 60 early Sunday morning. Investigators say Rockefeller, a Metro North engineer for 10 years, drove that train down the tracks at 82 miles per hour, almost three times faster than the speed limit at that curve. Investigators say he slammed on the brakes just five seconds before it derailed. The train was not equipped with a system that would have automatically slowed it down if it was going too fast. That technology exists. It's called positive train control. If this technology was in place, would this accident have ever happened? Probably not. It allows a central computer to recognize that the train is going too fast and automatically slow it down. It's widely used in Europe, but its development has been stalled in the U.S. Experts hope this crash will be a wake-up call. But tonight, the focus is on that train operator. Investigators say his blood alcohol test came back negative. And so tonight, Diane, the big question, did he fall asleep? All right, Gio Benitez reporting in for us. Thank you, Gio.